because the triple tree is so unstable um, I've got it locked in on several places and it's locked in there with the upper heads removed the bike is extremely light uh, it feels like it's nothing and you can feel the bottom heavy of it it's very low center mass so this bike can literally go from side to side very easily um, the rear wheels locked in because there is no sprocket on there right now uh, excuse me no chain on there so the wheel is completely free spinning um, I'm gonna go ahead and drop the engine on it and I've got a slide mat here just in case so I can pull the pull it out and the slide mat's gonna pull right out from underneath of it once the engine is out and uh, I'll pull it out so I drop the engine and then pull the slide mat on it and that will bring the whole engine out while I hold or while the, the engine is balancing on there I'm gonna take that little thing off of it it doesn't need it and I need to tighten that oil cap so uh, I've got to remove the side the side stand but other than that the castle nut has been tapped off I need to get this bolt off and there's one other bolt on the other side and the engines gonna drop right down the reason why I'm doing this is because I could not find that stupid bolt that the previous mechanic whoever did the mechanic work on here somebody sold this bike because they could not afford to fix it and they got an estimate on it I believe and in during that process of estimating that mechanic that looked over this thing dropped the bolt into the engine and uh, it was strategically placed in a manner that you couldn't you couldn't grab it because I remember seeing it and I asked where the hell did that thing come from and it came from the rear the rear upper head cover now that's one of the reasons why I had a difficult time getting this bike started and in addition to that there were so many electrical problems someone blew out the diode or switched out the diode sold it um, you know the previous owner was some teenager he screwed it up he wrecked it uh, I bent the frame back you know using the bottleneck A bottle jack and uh, now I gotta go fish that stupid screw out the engine and otherwise is perfect but when I did my um, when I did my clearance check I find out the crankcase is binding so let's uh, let's go ahead and pop I don't like dropping the engine I don't want to drop the engine but in this case I have no choice I tried to go from underneath of it to try and get a magnet and just fish out that bolt and I can't even get the I can't even get the damn thing off so with unless I pound the hell out of it the the oil the uh, the oil pumps gonna fall right underneath and if it falls right underneath I gotta get underneath it and uh, put it back in anyhow so I'm not gonna replace the pistons on this this thing has perfect compression and it's 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 fast as hell but this little problem here is causing a lot of problems so I gotta get this thing out all right all right, the engine is off the bike. I did shear one bolt. And in trying to get the kickstand out, the uh, kickstand bracket bolt, which is attached to the swing arm, has broken off. My estimation is that the previous owner wrecked this and bent this frame. And in bending it, that has uh, either that or his thread lock. Uh, it's either thread lock or he he wrecked the bike and broke it. But uh, the the uh, engine is off. I just got to remove the oil cooler lines and I'll pull this rug from underneath it and get it out of there.
Okay, here's what we're looking at. Uh, I'm sitting on one milk crate with the board. Okay, so I'm sitting right there. I got the engine right there. This is messy, so don't get too fancy with it, you know. It's just, uh, I've got leaves everywhere, so the leaves just soak up the uh, oil and then I just burn the leaves.